campaign language. We automated London's black cabs, we brought badly to your optics. But our latest scenario is something entirely new. Technology and humanity, two sides of the same coin. That is the heart of daybreak. A chance to leave the troubles of the world behind. Things might seem bleak now, but a new society can wait to you. A society of peace, and innovation, of love, and prosperity. Draw my memory to do some updates on daybreak of your life. Unleash the full potential of your mind. One simple clean procedure and you can be free forever. Sign up for our weekend today and join us in the world of tomorrow. Daybreak is the future. And the future is very bright. Badly to your optics. But our latest endeavor is something entirely new. Technology and humanity, two sides of the same coin. That is the heart of daybreak. A chance to leave the troubles of the world behind. Things may seem bleak now, but a new society awaits you. A society of peace and innovation, love and prosperity. Unleash the full potential of your mind. 
One simple thing to suggest is to be free forever. Sign up for our weakness today and join us in the world of tomorrow. Daybreak is the future, and the future is very bright. led to the world in AI innovation. We automated London's black cat, we brought the baggage to your office. But our guest is very entirely new. Technology and humanity, two sides of the same coin. That is the heart of it. How bad is it, mate? A chunk of the game. Auto drive now disabled. Hello, Britain. This is the bug, the show that holds up a mirror to the world and. She's itself on the head with it in despair. I'm Andy. Joining me, as always, are Alex and. Uh... I deny everything. <laughs> good state of existence. Some good news. At last, there are no medicine shortages. According to the council, there have been various allegations about that. It turns out they are all fake news, trademark. There are none. There are no shortages of medicine. Don't take it from me. I'm not a medical supplier. Take it from our beloved government. Not, in fact, I'm going to read between the lines here. Actually, so there's probably there's, there's too much medicine, if anything. Just medicines. Medicine. He can't move. The medicine. Like, this I've got to I can. Can. You see this? Albion's taken over Scotland Yard. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatised goon squad, just take your business across the street. I mean, fuck the feds, but fuck Albion too, man. Fuck all of this. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in.
Keep your eyes open. Suspect is still here. Well, is this it? Our spider bot? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the tone bombing site. Good. Be a dear and work out who last used it. Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. On it. Brilliant. There we go. I think you just made a new friend. If Albion wanted to lock them up, they must be dangerous. And dangerous we can use. Correct. That opening right there looks like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected.
that's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. That's Dalton's mask. It must have been recovered from Parliament. It might be the only thing left of him now. to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening. your way through this last bed path.
Dear God. It. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Fine. has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. We're this far down the breadcrumb trail. We might as well keep following it. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. The doctor's saying, sorry, we're fresh out of that. You're going to have to eat a Your somewhat reckless teammate has got themselves thrown in the old clink, I'm afraid. Difficult to resist oppression from behind bars. It will be a while before they're available. Pro tip, however, why not recruit a barrister to the team. I mean, no one exactly likes a barrister, but they do have their function. They should be able to shorten the jail time of imprisoned operatives. and slowly dying unnecessarily is this. Do we actually need medicine? If you today got diagnosed with a potentially fatal illness, would you not look around at the nation that we've become and think, hey doc, put your life-saving treatment down, I'm going to take this free one-way bus out of here. Now hold that pillow. <laughs> I just don't think we should think of it uh, in such a negative way. Don't think of it as a medicine diet, Andy. Think of it as a series of healthy lifestyle swaps. Swap out anti-inflammatories for antacids. Swap out the iron lungs Get for the aluminium lungs. Swap out the down! Troy, begin our search. Your lifestyles. It's so hard to diet on your own that you need the support of a friend <laughs> or a loved one or a government or a collapsing paper infrastructure. Positive two, meat, very bad for the environment. So we're actually rebuilding the polar ice cap.
Another story that uh, got us uh, come to the fore uh, recently is that all European imports have been banned for public health reasons. Uh, this is great news. I mean, at least we can get ill eating good, home produced, locally sourced British industrial and safe food. That's uh, something we can all get into. Public health reasons. Those are curious words. Alice, I don't know, is that in case the public gets too healthy to move out of Mediterranean mud? It's a British food for British tummies. Spelt, nettles, rabbit, that's all we need. That's all we need in the glory days. Everyone round to Nigel's for dinner, yum yum. Who needs Italian olives when you can eat pickled rubber bands and a soup of regret? <laughs> Who needs a nice cheese when you can eat a lukewarm, unspecified rat meat pie with zero spices? Sam. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pinged these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. Good place to hold the world's least pleasant dinner party. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Bagley, find me an entrance. I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. Interesting. I bet there's probably more. Help! 